What up, Kundas? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. That's What's like, happening? I'm a mess. I don't want to do this. I'm white. Oh, I don't want to sit that again. I'm white. <laughs> yeah, you got she just wants to look pretty for you guys, that's all. What up condos, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that bell button and subscribe to our channel and have comment done in the comments below. Make sure you hashtag the condos on our Instagram account for extra points. Now let's get into this video. Quick update, Georgie's not here yet and we we're finally going, packed, kind of. we finally packed no, we for the packed. hospital. We've got it all though. We've got it all and we're gonna show you exactly what's in our, Our hospital, hospital bags. 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 Jinx. Firstly, look what. We Georgie... packed Georgie's bag. And look it's what? a Captain America bag. Little suitcase. Check yeah. this out. So cute. So cute. Yeah. No, lay it flat. Lay it flat. Don't ruin my packing skills. So we've got a custom made swaddle coming in the same as his um, baby shower cake and wallpaper. Oh! Yeah, you, know, you can hold it up. It'll stay in. I don't really want to take anything out, but we've got clothes and singlets. So cute. So how many of these have we got? We bought a few. Nick, don't you're messing it up. You're messing it up. So what's the point of this video? We're gonna show. We're them. gonna show you guys, but not show you guys. So, so I'm thinking when he leaves the hospital, this is his. Okay, I'm just gonna show you his leaving outfit because I don't need to show you the clothes and wraps again. You guys have seen it. I'm gonna show you what I'm what I've packed in my bag. That's got all the, like the hospital necessities. So we've got like about five singlets, five wraps, a million outfits. Um middens um we've got these little connie socks because he can't wear shoes yet five wraps yeah this when he leaves the hospital i think i'm gonna put this on him hold it this is the leaving the hospital outfit i hold it like and then with these pants oh he's putting pants on top of that yeah is that not cute what so his shirt's tucked in <laughs> yeah oh great he's a nerd do well his shirt's tucked in already yes georgie <laughs> how cute is that Guys, that is a cute leaving the hospital all outfit. All right, all right. But like, it's like <laughs> we're going overseas or something with this much clothes. Nick, reset anyway, this, don't lose it. There's anything. a lot of stuff here. So it's just like the basic stuff. I'm actually gonna, you know what? I'm gonna write a list in the description of what we actually packed so we can help people out. Do you reckon that's a good idea? That's a great idea. Yeah. So that's like Captain his clothes. Captain America. That's Georgie's clothes. All like the other stuff. I'm, Okay, damn. So as you know, we'll pack some nappies, but the hospital usually supplies that. So I'm gonna get different wipes because apparently they're not that great. So I bought these guy I once all my mum did, but um, my friend yesterday showed me even better wipes, which I'm gonna show you, so I don't know if I'm gonna pack these. Might give them a go. But anyway, wipes. Nursing pads, because I'm planning on breastfeeding. So um, your nipples leak. So that's for that. What, it's a bit, treat. Bit leaky. And discreet. So it's underwear that you can throw out. It's um, disposable adult nappies. You have to wear nappies? Well, I'm going to, because I don't want to get it. Oh, you can twin with Georgie. <laughs> I also bought, um, they're on the clothesline downstairs, but I bought some cheap black underwear, like in like baggier, bigger sizes, because if I get, you know, stuff on it, I can just chuck them out. And I've got disposable ones for the first few days. Attractive. Nappies for the mummy. The disposable underwear. Do it's you, easy. Who throw changes it out. them? Me! Oh, it's we don't need to change you? It's disposable. The bleeding isn't so heavy. I've got just, um, it's a bladder leakage. Why did my mum buy me these ones? <laughs> did she think I'm gonna... <laughs> Very thick, <laughs> pads. heavy pads. The bladder leakage. And I'm gonna bring regular pads for periods. This is quite daunting. What's gonna happen to you? <laughs> you can't wear tampons. You're wearing nappies on top of big ass pads? So there's gonna be a pad underwear. and then a nappy. No. no, I'm just gonna wear the disposable underwear, but you've got to change it every couple hours. Every couple of hours. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna stain it all day. This seems very stressful. It's so not fair. Anyway, put them down. But my mum is really into looking fabulous, so <laughs> she she's like gonna come to the hospital. Um, she's gonna do my hair straight after birth. <laughs> I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna wear makeup in birth though, because I'm gonna go all natural. So I'll probably like scream and sweat that off. Um, so I'm just gonna like do this kind of look for birth, the natural ghost. What did you do? <laughs> I put a little bit of lip gloss on and liner. And... Oh, so you're gonna have lip gloss for, for birth? <laughs> Maybe like a little bit of mascara. So before it happens, quick! <laughs> my lip gloss! Someone bring me my lip gloss! Outfit that I'm gonna wear for when I first like show Georgie like to guess the family like that I'm gonna be in. What are, what is this? I should have tried it on, but I have a big belly and I don't want you guys. What birds are they? <laughs> Ibises, I don't know. 
<laughs> Swans, I don't know. Oh, they are ibises. <laughs> the Australian bin chicken is on here. Look at this. <laughs> Who's wearing this? Are you 75 years old or are you 24? I understand. Wait, let me explain. So this little, this little dress Where here. did you buy this from? Suzanne's? <laughs> so this, and then I've got a kimono, matching kimono. So for mine and Georgie's first pick together, as a family, with you, <laughs> there's like the kimono that I'm going to wear with it. So it's just like, and I'm going to have relaxed curls. So you're wearing a kimono? I'm wearing it, yeah. so I'm going to have a kimono. I kind of wanted to get like a turban, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> like what, like, so you're going to be a Japanese, Indian, Australian bin chicken? Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I don't know if you guys just heard that, but Zap just pushed a fart out. <laughs> because you had me laughing. Were you like clenching your I feel like I should get a matching one. <laughs> so this is going to be <coughs> my outfit. So you'll probably see it on my Insta. Um, me and Georgie, we're going to look like very like relaxed and loose curls. <laughs> like that's my loose vibe. Curl. That's yeah, I kind of want it a bit more curly than this. Makeup. I might do hoops. Jack and gold hoops. I'm putting earrings on. <laughs> This is crazy. You yeah. know what? Why not look beautiful? Yeah, I don't understand. Why do I have to look like shit? You're always going to look beautiful, but you want to feel beautiful. Is that right? Oh, I just want Georgie to have that photo so he can hang it, you know, in his house one day. You reckon Georgie's going to hang that photo in his house? <laughs> A picture of himself born with you. Have you lost your mind? I've got for myself, like... Probably three pairs of pajamas. I've got tracksuit pants, like singlets, stuff like that. So I've just got a whole heap of comfortable clothes and then sanitary items for me. And then I've bought a new toothbrush because we've got to start fresh. I can buy a new toothpaste. We're just gonna have to bring ours. We don't need a new toothpaste, <laughs> a toothbrush. You could have just brought your own. No, I want new. Um, I got deodorant. I know you don't wear it straight after you give birth, so don't comment that. Um, <laughs> Oh, a bit sassy too. No, well, I want a donut. So the white brand that my friend um, recommended to me, or the brand for the baby, is Mistella. What is this? These are wipes. So I'm going to give them a go. I've also been recommended another pair of wipes from Aldi, which are apparently really wet and really great for changing nappies. So I'm going to pack those. Hand sanitizer for every time you change the baby's nappy. Okay. If you can't. QVC oil for the bath, but the hospital will have it. But this is the brand that I'm going to be using on Georgie, so I'm actually not going to use the guy ones. I'm going to use this one. Gentle hair and body wash for Georgie. And then... Um, oh, to clean him. Mm, this is like moisturizer for him. Apparently, this is like super organic. So if he gets like colic or um, a sore stomach, give him this because it's like not medicine. Like it's just, um, it's all herbal. So it's a colic... What's yeah. colic again? When they get wind. You'll know that a baby has colic because they'll try to put their legs up. They'll like be trying to get rid of the sore tummy. Also going to bring with me, I got sent some amazing organic lactation cookies and crackers. So I'm probably just going to bring, I think I'm going to go with the chocolate chip ones to be honest. So these um, help my milk production. Really? Yeah, they help you lactate. So I can't eat cookies either? No, they're for me. Our biscuits for your boobs. So I'm going wow. to pack these on. So I'm going to pack these. Um, What's in these to make you lactate? I don't know. And then there's crackers too. And there's Natural galactagose. What? I can't even say that word. To try Helps it. with milk supply. Yeah. And then chocolate gems. This chocolate company in Brisbane was super sweet and they sent us these chocolates. Um, so I'm going to hand them out to visitors. So if you visit Georgie, you can get a chocolate. <laughs> it's a boy. If you visit Georgia, you get a chocolate. <laughs> while we're on food, right, um, can I have my snack? So while I'm in labor, it's really important to create a really nice space and food helps. So I've got protein bars, chocolate ones. Um, I've got these, I love these by Vita breakfast biscuits. I'm going to have this during labor. I bought two active electrolyte waters with no sugar, so Gatorade. I'm in berry flavor, so I got two of those. <laughs> this was my purchase. It's great. <laughs> Wait, put this back. So, what do you think this is for? So, I, I wanted to get a nice little one. This is from the gardening section. But when yeah. you have... I just a, found it. I was like, no, let's get this. You spray the vagina. Yeah. So, after you give birth, you get really sensitive down there. So, when I go to the bathroom to pee, it'll sting. So, I'm going to have this with water. I'm going to spray myself. Bunnings trigger spray. <laughs>
<gasps> oh, you know bad. what it is. As you guys will know, we're hypnobirthing, so I need to create a nice space in the hospital. So I've got these LED candles. I've got two packets of these. Do we have batteries? And they look like yeah. the real ones, and they're warm. Then dim the lights in the birthing suite and have on. Did you end up buying this? Yeah. A lotus flower, because, you know, you're opening the lotus. No, I think I, I'm a very visual person, and I just... Well, that's, that's nice. That's going to help you give birth just by looking at it. No, because I'm going to open up like this flower. Then More candles? Yeah. To put around the area. We should. Have, we were thinking about fairy lights, but I don't know. I think the candles just create a really nice atmosphere. Deodorant. Yes. Um, so. Body wash, because I don't know if I'm going to like the hospital one. Oh, this is the Why best. did you buy a bell? I bought a bell because I want to be a lady during labor. So if Nick's gone out and he's in pain, I mean if I'm in pain, or I'm in my room after I've had Georgie, and I don't want to, I don't want to be screaming. Like I don't want my son to be around that kind of environment. <laughs> and then you come when you hear the bell. Where am I going to be? I don't know. Am I literally going to be right next to you and you're going to go like this, <laughs> staring right into my face? I'm just going to be like, yeah, what do you want? This was a stupid purchase. Bells are not and necessary. Got my Get my perfect potion back. So, um, where's my Joba Joba oil? Hoba Hoba oil. We were using it last night. We were doing a perineum massage. Perineal. Perineal. Is it perineal? I don't know. I have a mini personal aromatherapy diffuser. So while I'm in the room, I can just be, you know, like doing these ones. So this is, and it's a USB charge. So I just plug it in. I'm going to bring my laptop. Because I want to play, and we're going to bring a boom, a little speaker, because we need to play the meditations, really nice, um, soft music, a few Disney songs. I think we need to pump up with a few Disney songs, don't you reckon? Um, and I've just got we this We, like, book. get off the Disney songs. Because the birthing suite's quite big, especially the one I'm requesting. Mm. I can request why, it. <laughs> why do you sound like some weird queen chick? Like, especially the one I'm requesting. <laughs> I'll have your <laughs> biggest room. Also, I have my affirmations, and I think I want to print them on big paper tonight. I'm going to do a PowerPoint. <laughs> what? No. We're going to have a. Are we having a presentation in the birthing room? No, I just want to print them out on A4 paper and stick them in blue tack. Affirmations. Yeah. So I, like, while I'm like leaning over in pain, I can I'll read that affirmation over there, and I'll be like, "That's why I'm here." <laughs> You don't reckon? <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I hope oil is in the other room, or Joba Joba, whatever you call it. It's a massage oil. So we're going to keep massaging me. But tonight, I'm going to smell this very strong stuff called Clary Sage. So this can send you into labor. That's why it's so small. Apparently, it's been banned from some hospitals. Yeah. So I'm going to mix it with Hopa Hopa oil and this. And during the labor, I'm just going to get this little bottle. And we're gonna drip it all over us. It's been just banned so from hospitals. Be it's been banned from hospitals because it sends midwives into labor. If, if midwives are pregnant, it could mm. potentially send them into labor. We'll put it on our skin just so I can be constantly smelling it, and then I'll put some of it in here. It I helps think, with contractions. It contracts what? the uterus. Tomorrow, just so no, you know. today actually, we're gonna just in case we go into labor, we're gonna go buy some lavender too because this will be nice to smell to relax me. Yeah, so we've got the candles, we've got the affirmation cards, we've got little ones, but we'll do big ones. We've got the music, the meditation, I'm going to bring my folder, because you've got to read me through a few scripts. Oh, yep. Are you gonna, are you, can you guide a meditation? Uh, sure. Uh, do you think you're going to be do well at that? Cause yeah, I need to replace just you. make sure you don't look at me and take the piss, because me and you take the piss out of a lot of things. So Should we I get my have to be serious. No, that's even worse. I'll laugh even harder and so will you. She's got a softer voice. I should read my own. No, I can't. Who do you want to read? Do you want, no, get one of the midwives to read it. It'll be more serious. Yeah, they're going to read it. The midwife, especially if one of the midwives read it, well, you won't laugh. Better. We won't laugh. If you read it, I'll laugh. You 100% you'll <laughs> laugh and you won't take it seriously. But no, actually, and then um, we've got all our little exercises um, to do, like all these little things to calm you down. Mm-hmm. You have to do that, and I want foot rubs. That's the one thing that With I'm. My hope, I hope that's the one thing I'm good at. Birthing bra. So I'm probably gonna have nothing on in the bottom. I'll have underwear. Be, no, I probably won't have underwear on. I'm gonna go bottomless, but you're not gonna see that in the vlog. I don't want to be topless straight away because I just feel a bit uncomfortable with my ape boobs everywhere. <laughs> so this bra here is what I'll be wearing, and even in the water. And just look at that support. So if it's cold, you're not gonna notice. 
totally forgot my crystals for my birthing space so I don't have them all on hand right now and I was also given a little trinket box full of crystals for pregnancy so I'm going to bring them in but I'm going to bring in an obsidian because I don't want any negative energy in the space so I think that's really important I like to clear out even any negative thoughts that I might be having rose quartz it's a loving crystal and it's really good for pregnancy and birth and then clear quartz is always Nick pull it back Clear quartz is always good for good vibes. I have a really big one. I'm going to bring that. And my salt lamp candle. We should bring that. A big salt lamp. Yeah. So we've, we've got a lot of stuff we're going to bring. <laughs> we're camping out there. Like We're, we're moving in. <laughs> yeah, but I By wanna, the looks of it. Wanna, we're staying in the hospital for don't five Don't throw my crystals. Put them down I just gently. put them down. Put them down gently. Gently. The crystals know. Okay. So that's like a little quick overview of what we're packing. I wasn't going to go through every outfit. You'll see it on my stories. Our story most day. Well, that probably won't actually. The practical stuff. We're gonna still write a list in this vlog. Yeah. Well, so, I didn't really forget any of the practical stuff. The main things, like, let me just run through my list that I wrote. So the main thing for me for labor, I've got water. See, um, the midwife did tell me coconut water. We might buy a bottle of that as well. I just love like the taste of like sugar. <laughs> but you got a sugar-free Gatorade. I got a sugar-free. For the electrolytes. The electrolytes. Anyway, one, go. Um, we've got phone charger and phone we're definitely going to bring. The birthing ball they have there. I've got snacks, um, lip balm, hair ties. I've got my Gucci slides because my mum was going to buy me slippers. Do we have to throw in the Gucci slides? No, I think they look cool. Shoes <laughs> is, the, is the thing. You have to bring swimmers in your little bag. So Nick's going to pack his um, swimming trunks to get in the tub with me. Um, you know, even if the doctor that's on does do water births, they might even tell me to stay in the water. So you can be in there too. While it comes out? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. So that's cool. Maybe. Oh, we, oh, we should pack the GoPro then. You guys can't watch that one. I just want to see his head. You can put it on your head and you can go under the water too. <laughs> I'm going to get one of these cameras. <laughs> Should I actually get one? <laughs> Straight in there. And you can see and it all coming this, like, out. blood and shit comes out. No, 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 we're not going to show <laughs> that. We're not going to show that. Nick, like, wake, um, comes out of the water and has, like, the sack up on his head. Oh, hell no. That Everything we have, like, the hygiene products. I'm going to bring shampoo and conditioner, but, um, obviously, because I need to wash my hair. Um, really? You're going to wash your hair Straight after hospital? birth, I'm washing it and getting it styled. <laughs> By my mum. You're gonna have a hairdresser on board. <laughs> That's Should we did. bring a makeup artist? No, I do. I do my makeup. Any makeup artist? artist? Because my mum did that, and I just want to do the same thing. Okay. Whatever makes you feel good. Whatever yeah, makes you I feel just good. no embrace. That's it. important. And then for the baby, they, um, this list says, this list says three swaddles. I bought like six because we need to change his outfit often, and he might pee a lot. Little boys do as well. Also, the little girls, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna do a giant list. It's, no, a, it's like a checklist. Everything. Oh, my breastfeeding pillow. Should we show them that? Here it is. That's my breastfeeding pillow. So I'm going to bring that and this little attachments for the newborn. This support. is cute, this one. Yeah, it's cute. I like the pattern. Obviously, our camera. Uh, you need to buy a backup charger. That's the only thing we're missing. I think if you want to, If you want to film stuff. Um, and then my birth card's always on me, the hospital card. So when you're, like, pregnant... Um, I don't know if all hospitals do this, but the MARTA does it. I, I have this little identification card. So then Nick just shows up and they know all my details about everything. We've actually got everything. Oh, a button down shirt for skin to skin. No, you're just going to take your shirt off. Yeah, I'll just take my shirt. Some, some guy's nervous about it. <laughs> like, well, I don't give a shit. No, that's so weird. Love and patience is for the part. We're going to bring that. You need to bring that. It says for partner slash dad. Love and patience. Yes. I have so much love for you. Really? If you guys think that we we're have missing, if we're missing anything, write it in the comments below. But we'll give you oh, our list seat, that we have. Obviously, car we've seat. got socks. We've got everything like for him to be dressed in. Everything for me to be dressed in. We've got body wash and stuff for both of us. And I know the hospital supplies these things too. It's just if I don't like their brands, I've got my own. Um, why so, are you giving me that eye roll? I'm not. There was no eye roll. Um, and we've got stuff for our guests. And we're going to use the cute little signs. Um, my mum's going to bring it. There's a lot of extra things going on <laughs> so here. You don't be... need, like, signage. And we've got lolly jars full of blue lollies that we're going to use just for guests. <sighs> oh my God. So anyway, guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. 
hit that bell button and subscribe to our channel then comment down i hope you found this informative um like we packed like everything like we even have stuff to make it look cute the room and the salt lamp i'm taking up to my room after the birthing suite so you birth in the birthing suite we're gonna make that all pretty put our lights everywhere we should get fairy lights for the room that would be nice we could bring the neon sign. The neon sign? This is baby condo. No! And put it above the bed. No, that's unnecessary. No, I... Or are we going to get someone to drill it in? <laughs> Do you think I'm ready to be a mum? It sounds like it. I think you're extra ready. <laughs> what do you guys it think? It would be cute if Georgie had little Gucci slides. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That is all. No, his feet are too little, but he's got a big foot. In the scan, it was very that big. That is all. It's me, him. Are you so excited? Yes. Can I get a donut now? Yes, we can go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to do a video on my nappy bag. Um, once we're home with Georgie, I'm going to show you my nappy bag. And this is like, it's so cool. So I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> Real cool. <laughs> it's a bag that Nick bought me for my 21st. And um, I can put an insert in it and change it into a nappy bag. So it's really cute. And I'm going to show you everything I have in it because... I think I want to show you Beautiful. guys once he's here because I'll know what I'm going to put in it. Mm -hmm. um, that is all. See you guys. Bye. Catch you later, condos. Catch you later, condos. Catch you later.